What? <laughs> no one's doing it, so I'm not going to do it because it would be weird. I want to stand out. <laughs> uh, are we going to do this or what? I'm sick of. Uh, uh, I'm sick of all this waiting. I'm just going to go home. Wow! Wow! I'm okay. Just gonna go home. Wow. I hate everybody and everything. You heard that? You could take there. that to the bank. Oh my gosh, we're on. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us, but may not matter to you. Depends on who you are, I guess. I am host <laughs> one of three and the emissary of hell, hey! Luis De La Torre. <laughs> God. I knew I said that because it would bother you. Anthony Octavius Sarazawa. If you claim you don't to be get the, all the cool names. If you claim to be the emissary of hell, I will fight you. Go uh, ahead. Okay, well, wait till my suit comes in the mail. Okay, we'll uh, see. Wow. Wait till my suit comes in the mail. <laughs> yes, I pay for a tailor to make me a new suit. But anyways, me too. I am Italian Spider Man. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I am host two <laughs> of three. Daikaiju Tony, and I'm last. Adam Crin. <laughs> Of course you are. Before we continue, let's us uh, really quickly mention our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the, the mecca, mecca of the Mojave of the Mojave Desert. Um, yeah. We have all pop the wonderful things. Mecca, yeah. The pop culture mecca. We have all the wonderful things your pop culture heart could desire, including but not limited to uh, comics, back issues, Funko Pops. Uh, Accessories, apparel, action figures, statues, all now. sorts of beautiful, wonderful things, and we ship now. And What's the name ship. of that? What's the name of that beautiful website? Cosmicomics dot Vegas or cosmiccomicslv dot com. You can find a link right down below. Guys, right, you ain't got to directly do directly to the store. You don't got to do anything. You don't got to get off the couch. You, you just got to. You don't got to get yourself off the couch That's or right. nothing. Uh-huh. That's what I live for. That's why I love being on the grid. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, speaking of things that have existed, uh, we're <laughs> going to delve MCU. into the, uh, the MCU that once was. Yes. Which is the yeah. MCU of the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The yeah. forgotten about MCU. Right. The MCU that only lives in the minds of people of a certain age and Adam. <laughs> That's Damn. because I'm of a certain age. Oh, right. That's right. No, no, you're a young man. Look at yeah, you. You've got yeah. so much promise. <laughs> so much potential. <laughs> so, you look at the, look, get a pocket full of dreams and a song in your heart. I do. I do. Um, so as uh, we know that uh, the MCU is not the only place that these characters have existed right. in yes. live action. These characters have Correct. existed for a long time in many different forms of media, including... Television, right? Live action. We're not live talking about action. the animated. Yeah, we're stuff. not talking about animated stuff. We're talking about live action stuff. We're talking live action Speedermans, live action right. Incredible Hulks, right. live action Captain America, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. Doctor Strange and everything robe. in between. But first, but first, I do want to debunk. Yeah, one of those live action shows because it is common belief, especially to young people, mm-hmm. that Iron Man also had a live action TV movie. I don't know. That failed to become a series. That was not actually Iron Man because the picture floats around a lot as Iron Man. Seventies. It's like a. He looks like a. Looks like a trash can on his head. Yeah, he's red. Oh no! And he has a visor. The show was called Exo Man. And it does have a lot of similarities to Iron Man. Yeah. I is, think it, it was is a, it more like Exo Man War or something? No. no. He, he actually gets crippled by mobsters. He gets shot. Oh. And he builds a suit because he's a smart guy. He builds a suit so he can walk again and fight crime. Mm. And it's really bad looking. Yeah. Wow. Exo wow. Man. Yeah. So. Okay. It is not Iron Man. He is red, too. It is red. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but it's not Iron Man. I love that. That must have been like. Exo Man, and it was colon like, not it was, Iron Man, and I think it was before a lot of them, except maybe the Spider Man show, yeah, yeah. with mm. Nicholas Hammond, yeah, mm. with one of the one of the Von Trapp children, one of the Von Trapp children, right? <sighs> Who should have had a cameo in No Way Home? I'm so disappointed. I mean, and so should the actor of uh, Japanese Spider Man should have. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Spider Man should have made an actual physical Spider-Man. appearance. Spider Man, Nicholas Hammond, Spider Man. Okay, you just put him in a picture in the background. Yeah, yeah. just have him without the leg. He could be. Spider-Girl's Maybe he could be dad. standing on the robot. Right on. Uh, what's it called? Leo. Leo Pardon. Leo Pardon. <sighs> All right. So where do you guys want to start? Because well, which one started I'm first? Not, here's the I thing. Spider Man. I did research, uh, but I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Who's, who came first, at least in terms uh, of like TV? You're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and start with no. Spider Man, Nicholas Spider-Man. Hammond, Spider Man. Spider Man, 1970. Was it 76? We I, should, we should know this. This is terrible. I know hmm. this toy was 77, but 
but yeah, anyway, I know, I know, I know. It was '76 was... because the year after, in '77 through '78, that's when Japanese yeah, Spider-Man had it was come out. Before Toei Spider-Man, and I just gotta say that Nicholas Hammond Spider-Man is boring. I fell asleep How nearly twice while dare watching you. it. Oh. I loved that show as a small child. I love that. Have show you seen as a it since? Child. No. Mm, <laughs> I mean, okay. like, I think I did try to watch it in the 90s, and I was just like, <laughs> this show is boring. This show is terrible. <laughs> like, but I blocked that out, and all I remember But he's allowed to say it because he was there, Anthony. Like, okay, you know yeah, right. you, you know how the room has that one infamous scene where Tom Rezzo, he's sending up a tape recorder with his phone, and you yeah. get to see with the whole long machine. Pro- with the answering machine. The whole long process of that. Here, he, you see the long process of Peter sending up his camera, trying to take a picture of him as Spider Man, and yeah. Like, and it goes on for like five minutes. My God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's not what I picture. Oh, as, it was uh, 1977. He's not wow. what I picture as a uh, uh, Peter Parker. At Honestly, all. Uh, no. Physically, Nicholas uh, Hammond did look like Peter. He looked a lot like uh, college Peter. Like college. I don't Peter know. He had like those like that, uh, he, like that. he looked like Romita's college Peter Parker, except with just more. I was 70, just gonna say he has like that like very feathery blonde hair though. Well, that's brown. That's brown. It was was it brown? It yeah. looked blonde. To it was me. just more seventies looking. But it looked he, blonde to me. His face, he looks like he looks like Remy to like uh... Farrah Fawcett haircut before <laughs> Farrah Fawcett <laughs> had. Right, right. Now let's comment on his costume. I honestly like this costume because okay, for for context, it's the Eves Brooks Spider Man costume just with little modifications here and there because throughout the seventies all the way to I want to say late eighties, yeah. like every time Spider Man would make a live public appearance, whether it be a theme park or a show or a parade, yeah. they'd have the same Eves Brooks costume right. printed and shredded. The only difference here with the Nicholas Hammond suit is the eyes, which are like more circular and mirror lens. Yeah, and, and, mirror and he lenses, has yeah. like these um, dishwasher gloves that are painted red and rain yeah. boots that are painted red. Mm. Yeah, and it's I'm not sure. Does he? I'm not sure if he has a belt in this one he or in the movies. Belt. He does have a belt. Yeah. Yeah, but well, I thought the movies were just fix-up episodes that they did. Later, yeah, kinda. That they yeah. took like two parters, like and the Dragon, made, sh- yeah. Dragon Challenge. I mean, they do that all the time. Uh, they just yeah. make it oh, Dragon yeah. Challenge. Yeah, yeah and Nicholas Hammond. But, ac- but actually, like at one point in the movies, um, his suit slightly changes. Like he has like silver cartridges in his belt, and yeah. he has like these shower hose eyes. I'm like, what the? It, hell? it does. Listen, it does look like a homemade costume your mom made for you. Like a well, like, that's Spider Man. Like, like high quality mom costume, low quality like TV that's costume. That's Spider Man. That's accurate. That's Sue Spider Man. I mean, that's accurate. No way home had the best homemade suit that Tom Holland Spider Man had to like stitch himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was like the end of the movie. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. after Spider Man, what would have? I think Doctor Strange was actually first, right? Because wasn't Doctor Strange like seventy five? Or was I that later? Don't know. I think that was later. Yeah, we I sh- remember watching it. Uh, it didn't last very long. It was just like no, like it a was TV a pilot, movie. It was a pilot movie. Yes, that a pilot failed. movie that failed because Strange, it, it like, was bad. But it, it was, was bad. I've seen it. I, but I've seen. Cli- <laughs> I haven't seen the the, the I mean, TV it's... movie. But I've seen clips of it. I've seen videos of it. I like the guy who plays them. I don't it's, know his name, but it's bad, but it's not bad. That guy, it, that, it's definitely seventies TV. That guy looks like a bland John Holmes, and if you don't know who John Holmes is, <laughs> um, don't I, I don't, don't look it up. I know you're gonna look it up because I told you not to look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Don't, oh my don't god! Look it up. Oh, yeah. Don't look it up. Don't no, look it up online. Look it up, but don't put it on the camera. Don't put it on camera. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was 1978. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could tell the similar. So the Tony has mm. just learned who John Holmes Tony is. Just <laughs> just <laughs> early hair, the mustache. Yeah. That's a little bit. Which I find, who died of AIDS which, actually. Yeah. Which I oh, find, God. which yeah. I find funny, but is uh, not that he died of AIDS. Mm-hmm. That you just discovered who he, he is. He just discovered. I yeah. find it funny that you just now know who he is, <laughs> but I've known who he was, and it it dates me. Yeah, it, it does. makes me feel old. Okay, that well, I knew that I knew who he was, but he was long dead before I. So Doctor Strange yeah, costume in this movie. Um, he wears like a black. Jacketish robe. It's pretty, thing. pretty bland looking. But yes. guess, but guess who plays the bad guy? More, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> which bad guy? Morgan Lefay. Morgan Lefay. Morgan Lefay. Who, who plays uh, yeah. Morgan yeah. Lefay? It's um, Jessica Walters. Yes. Archer's mom oh, yeah. slash uh, the mom from uh, Arrested Development. Development. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes, it's I great. really like her as Morgan Lefay. She went from she went from crazy ex girlfriend or crazy one night stand of Clint Eastwood right into Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now the the show looks boring. It, it doesn't one? look. It doesn't look very. It looks bland. The Doctor Stranger. Yeah. Was Spider-Man. Well, 
no, the Doctor Strange. Since we're talking about the Doctor Strange stuff, but are we going into? Did you want to go into Spider Man for? Uh, more? No, no, no. no. We're, I mean, we're, we're we already, past Spider Man. Yeah, we already it's passed boring. <laughs> it, yeah, it's not. It's not good. Well, I will <laughs> say this about Spider Man. I did want to say this real quick. Like, you saw the series, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I actually some loved of it those stunts are insane. Yeah. Uh, right. That, like when he's nothing. scaling the building. Yeah. That's like nothing. that's crazy yeah. for like the seventies, dude. That's, for the seventies. Yeah. Bro. For the seventies, yeah. that's nothing in comparison to a lot of the crazy crap that happens in the toy show. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Well, the, no, no. Well, the toy show. But it was is, more stage. The toy show is better shot. Yeah. Not for only, sure. Yeah. Now look. But Nick, or some stuntman was on the side of a building. Yeah. Hooked up to probably window washer cables and just <laughs> climbing the side of a building. So here so here's the thing yeah. about like that particular stunt where he's actually where you see a man. By the way, I, I saw a video about this. Yeah. As there's establishing shots of a crowd looking up and seeing him. That is an actual crowd reacting to a man in a Spider Man <laughs> costume <laughs> scaling a building. Um Human fly style. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> so, like, as crazy as, like, the stunts were, for yeah. example, that that, uh, <laughs> that building climbing. Yeah, they even had a thing. clone song in it, it too. It looked. Yes. They did have uh, a clone it, episode. It, yeah. looked a little, it looked a little lame. Yeah. <laughs> it did, and that, which, you can't blame. It's the 70s. Like, yeah. how much, you, you can't really do well, much. Well, he can't the, stick the, to the wall. No, of course not. No, of course not. They're pulling him up, and he's just it's moving just, along. It just looks yeah. cheesy. Yeah, yeah. To where it's like, because I wanted to mention, because you brought up Toei. Like, if you watch, like, I I it's would watch a bunch safe. of stuff on, the, like, a lot of the clips on the Toei, uh, Spider, yeah. Supida-Man. Supida-Man. And, like, all the, a lot of the scenes where he's, uh, like, crawling up walls. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they, they basically pulled a Batman 66. It's basically all on the floor. Right. They basically <laughs> right. built the wall up on the floor. Right. So it looks better when he's crawling around and they're quick cutting to him just, like, crawling around all the walls. Yeah. It just looks better yeah. because there's actual weight there because he's on yeah, the yeah. floor. Yeah, but, as um, opposed to... Nicholas had kind of moving uh, stunt man stuntman who was yeah. who being bless bullied him. up. Yeah, bless him for climbing yeah. up that damn wall yeah. and yeah. A lot of walking the on the ledges of buildings. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the early episodes of the toy show, though, um, there are wide shots of where they practically do the same thing. Of him, he has a wire, presumably, and he's just yeah. schmigling through the wall. However, right. there the, in the in the <laughs> intro the opening shot, guy climbing Tokyo Tower by himself. Wow. Yes, wow. really. Yes. Oh, yeah. no okay. safety. Just yeah, climb Tokyo Tower. I've not been able hands. to find this show. Like I've only ever seen clips. Uh yeah, it's, you, uh, stuff there, there's like, established so. a lot of things for Super Sentai that took place after. Actually, you know what? I also I learned that, that uh, uh, from my research that um, Marvel, uh, once they did, they had inked this deal with Toei. Right. They tried to sell the uh, one of the Super Sentai shows. To Marvel, uh, uh, to, no, that Marvel was trying to sell the show to an American uh, production company ten years before uh, the Power, oh, Rangers Power Rangers actually Sun happened. Ball. Yeah, so they were shopping it around. They were shopping Sun Vulcan around. Yeah, um, wow. Before uh, wow. ten years yeah. before the, the but uh, hey, what we know when we do a Spider Man episode, I'm probably gonna have my suit in the show. So yeah, all right, so okay, cool. Oh. We'll, we'll wait till you get your suit before so, we do. Yeah, so Super now Spider-Man. that we jumped back to Spider Man, let's and jump back to Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jessica Walters. It was just the movie. Get to Japanese Spider Man. It was just yeah. I like the ending. I like I like the ending of the Doctor Strange movie and like how it sets up like what's to come despite you know yeah. You know I didn't I didn't. I mean, it's bad, but it's I, I didn't hate it. It's very 70s TV. I watched a bunch of I mean, it's of better it, than a lot of episodes it, of Wonder Woman and uh, Buck Rogers. First of all, <laughs> hey, Wonder Woman get, was awesome. Get bent. Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman was awesome. amazing. You can you can nah. just you can go Actually, suck a lemon, sir. I prefer the Kathy uh, the Kathy Lee Crosby version. Whoa, that was, came out a year before the Linda Carter one. You mean the blonde one that had that jacket? And yeah. yeah. What? It sickens me to look at you. I mean, I never actually I seen the pilot. I've always seen Linda pictures Carter of it. Wonder Woman and series. I'll still watch it today because I have the entire box set. It is amazing, would. and you don't know a damn <laughs> thing. <laughs> you like Nicholas Hammond as Spider Man? I did. I, I was did. a little kid. I was a little kid. And how is it now? <laughs> like, I still love. I still love Linda Carter Wonder Woman. <laughs> I still love the show. Do you still love Nicholas Hammond Spider Man? Y- yes. That's what I deep thought. Down in my heart. No, you don't. You just <laughs> you told Tony it was boring heart. as hell when you watched it again. <laughs> so, what happened after Doctor Strange? Um, oh, I just w- real quick about Doctor Strange, yeah, and this but, is what this is what really weirded me out. Right, the show is, is the movie was was very boring. 
Yeah, yeah it's it kind of yeah, dull. It was, it was like a pilot, lot of the yeah. colors were muted, right? Yeah. But then you got to like well, a lot of like psychedelic. Really the... You got to a lot of psychedelic bits. Yeah. Like there were like there were some real Jack Kirby psychedelic yeah. bits. And it's like, oh, where is all this well, for the rest of the show? show yeah. Or, yeah. And Where's then, all this for the rest of the show? Yeah. Or for the rest of the movie? Like even like uh, what's Expensive. his name? Um, costs money. Um, the the bad guy. What's his name? Um, the the big bad. Not Morgan Le Fay. Morgan Le Fay. Yeah, Dormammu. Oh, wait, from what? Dormammu in the new movie? No. Or in wait. the sh- in this series, she's talking to to the, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like even that looked interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know, in their like weird nether realm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then like I said, there's like a bunch of psychedelic bits. It's definitely something you yeah. look at a poster of. I mean, know, the, like, it's on a college. Yeah, the only night. copy out there really isn't very good. I think. Yes, so it's part yeah, of the problem. It just looks dull and like a, a, every. Every uh, video of it you try finding on YouTube looks like crap. Yeah, mm. it's just bad. Yeah. So it's not anything that got any kind of like shout. And John Holmes, yeah, and John Holmes Light wasn't <laughs> that great either. <laughs> However, Jessica Walters knocked it out though. Yes. However, which is the better movie, 2017 Doctor Strange or 78? 78. Okay, bar none. 78. That new Doctor, that last Doctor Strange movie, his solo movie was garbage. I mean, that mm. was not Doctor Strange at all. Climax Disney was. Avo- yeah, the climax was, but Disney avoided any allusion to mm-hmm. cult and curses, and magic and mystery, and I because they're Disney, I guess. Yeah, even I'll... though it was a post Harry Potter world, that angered me. Oh, C- can man, I just like... not pick one? Oh, if, <laughs> okay. So I know how you're p- you're pissed at Disney for cutting out words like cult and more magic. The occult, yeah. Occult. They didn't, yeah. Like because it has the word cult in it. Yeah. Is that what? I, I just they just they've always traditionally oh, shied yeah. away from that stuff. Mm, oh okay. man, if you if but you, it was a post Harry Potter world. I mean, come on, yeah. man, man. If you want to know some of the other stuff that they are shy away from now, yeah, like oh, yeah. it just it just gets worse. Yeah. So yeah, they never Doctor really Strange. cast any spells except, ironically, to create weapons to fight other guys that cast spells to create weapons with. It was like really dumb. <laughs> it was dumb. Okay, so yes. Uh, What's next? We talked about Spider Man, yeah. Japanese Spider Man, of right. course, which is a year later. Right. Uh, Doctor Strange, right? And then we start getting into the Captain first America. True, no, not yet. I think Hulk started before. <laughs> the first <laughs> true, <laughs> <Rignos> Hulk. <laughs> yeah, the first true success for Marvel <laughs> on television. Ah, yes, five seasons long with two movies, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Play, hit the piano music. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> No, no, seriously. Hit the piano music. I don't have it. Did we not have it queued up? No. You can't play that anyway. It's licensed. You, you, I know, but it's, it's beautiful. You wet sopping mess. Okay, I have a lot to say about this one. Um, I enjoy it despite it being cheesy as hell. Um, I think Lou Ferrino was a good pick for Hulk despite him being slightly, well, not, not as buff in the he's, legs. He's every very day. good at being big yeah, and growling. 19, yeah. It was actually 1977, so it was even before Doctor Strange, I think. Mm-hmm. He's right, very so. good at being big and growling. Um, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I mean, Ferrino was a good choice because he was a physically large man and he also had bigger measurements than like mm-hmm. somebody like Schwarzenegger. Right. Really? Uh, but Schwarzenegger huh. won more titles mostly, well, a lot of it had to do with the fact that he Stan only had like a, No, it had to do with really? the fact. Well, Schwarzenegger tells it, everybody used steroids back then because nobody knew they were dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. Just did it. Because yeah. back then it was just another supplement. It was just another supplement. Yeah, you and just then go to GNC started, and get steroids. And then they started to learn about the side effects, and they're like, yeah, no, screw that. <laughs> um, well, some people but, you know, did. I'm Schwarzenegger sure only has like a 27-inch waist or some crazy thing. So he has this crazy V shape that other bodybuilders couldn't get. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's and like as 6'3". We, yeah, and as we know, the Hulk is not V shaped. Yeah. Uh, no. Ferrigno is like big, big guy. Yeah, yes. so yeah. It worked, and then and of course they put prosthetics on his brow listen, and ain't nobody yes. got love. Nose to make yes. him like cave ain't vanish. nobody got love for Bill Bixby except for the oh. theater student. You I, know, and that's the Bill thing. Bill Bixby, Bixby was, I was fantastic as uh, David Banner, and I was going to yes. say that show David managed Banner. That show managed, which to, there's a story behind. I know. That, but, I know. Yeah. I'll explain. <laughs> they they man. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, David Banner. Yeah. Um, well, I know why. Well, you'll, should you'll we get mention to it? it? No, no, no yeah, we should. We should. It's, yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah. It, it's yeah, it's you stupid. Don't shy away from that stuff. Yeah, no. Good. No. Um, We're not in support of it, but we should let people know that yeah, this is yeah. what. Um, but what was I going to say? But that show managed to strike a chord that was really good, and it was there. It was tragedy in a lot of ways, and I think that's what appealed to viewers for yes 
every season. It so. was drama, and you know what? Bill Bixby brought yeah, the Bill drama, Bixby, yeah. and I mean that yeah. in a good way. Yeah. I mean that in the best and way. And then you had the character McGee, which was not in Mr. the comics. McGee? Yeah, yep. Mr. McGee, well, the reporter, the, the, the Kolchak-like reporter who, following him everywhere. Yep. <laughs> and that same character, albeit gender-swapped, made an appearance in Immortal Hulk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Here's the fact that I, I found out during research. I had no idea. Ted Cassidy, who plays Lurch yeah, in the yeah, family, yeah. the the Adams family show, uh, was the growling voice of right, the Hulk, Hulk basically. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So he, Lou Ferrigno wasn't even growling. You just kind of yeah. showed up. Yeah, he was just kind of there. So I mean, like he looks great. Hey, Ted I guess, Cassidy, but like Ted Cassidy also played the Bionic Bigfoot in uh, Six Million Dollar Man. Oh, did he? Also, which the in another episode, I guess, because he was in a few episodes, it was also played by Andre the Giant at one point too. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Bionic Bigfoot. Yeah. That's probably way yeah. better. I mean, it's Andre the Giant. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ted Cassidy was a big man too. Yeah, Ted Cassidy was tall. Like, but he he was in a lot of like weird shows yeah. like that, but. Let's talk about um, his rogues gallery. Um, there's the Hulk's rogues ga- rogue yeah. gallery. Yeah, there's douchebag karate teacher <laughs> from that one episode <laughs> with the blind guy. Um, there's abusive father, which yeah. I honestly think that's a pretty good episode yeah. where there's, Hulk he scares yeah. the abusive father into into making him say sorry to his own son. Yeah. Um, there's, there's much much smaller Hulk. Yeah. Yes. There's smaller Hulk. There's bear. <laughs> there's a bear. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, oh, the yeah. infamous it's, bear. It's, what important, what? it's important to keep in mind that as good as the show was, it did it did leave an indelible mark upon fans of the Hulk. Where you literally coming into the 2000s when they made the first Hulk movie, is you literally had two completely different fans of the Hulk. Right. Which is part of the reason why that first movie. Well, the first movie was problematic anyway, but Whoa. a lot of people didn't really latch onto it because Talk they were crap fans about of the, the Angley old, one. Yeah. Well, there's things I love about that movie, but there's things I also hate about that movie. Um, um, well, since where was I going? Oh, the uh, uh, the uh, the indelible mark. You had two separate fans. You had fans of the old show, mm. and then you had comic book fans. And the fans of the old show were just like, "What is this? Like, what <laughs> is, this isn't the Hulk." I and mean, it's like, no, that actually is more like the Hulk. Yeah. You you but you also have to realize this. This is TV in the seventies and eighties. Yeah. You weren't. Oh gonna, yeah, you can't. You do... weren't going to see yeah. for Hulk fight Wendigo or whatever. Right, yeah. Like it's not going to happen. You're not going to see him yeah. leap. Yes. It would be cool. It would have been tw- cool. Just Twenty miles at a stretch or whatever. Right. It would have been cool that like if they just put a big guy in a furry suit and have Luke Freeno fight him. That would have been fun. <laughs> that would have been cool. Yeah. yeah. Bionic, get Ted Cassidy Bionic- 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 yeah. show. <laughs> yeah. I'm Crossover with Steve Austin. Okay. Yeah. Since we mentioned the 2003 Hulk, we should probably mention the name change. Um, oh yeah, right. We so did. we're not. We're, Why is we're he not, called David Banner? David Why Banner? in the 70s TV show is he called David Banner? So we're not. Well, yeah, we're not misremembering it. We know it's Bruce Banner, yeah. but David Banner. Do you David, want to tell the story or? Yeah. Okay. Go um, ahead. Um, Kenneth Johnson. I, I don't know. Well, you probably know better than me if you have that much information. Go ahead. So Kenneth Johnson, the creator of the show, first of all, did not want to do. A superhero show. Yeah. Yep. But he ended up doing the Hulk. Yes. Um, one of the reasons that the name of the character uh, Bruce Banner was changed to David Banner yep. was because Kenneth Johnson thought that the name Bruce was quote gay. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he denies this. He says that it was uh, because he hated the uh, he hated the, uh, the the names that uh, uh, Stan Lee used the alliteration right. So Bruce Banner, <sighs> Peter Parker, Reed Richards. He yeah. hated that alliteration. That's what he claimed. I mean, there's some validity to that too. A lot of people and professional writers are taught to hate alliteration. Right. So but, but, uh, but, that both, could be part of it. But both Stan Lee and Lou yeah, Ferrigno yeah. have both testified that yeah. uh, Johnson testified. did in a court say, of law. Yeah, in a court of <laughs> no, law. No, but yeah, that was both pretty... attested that he that uh, he had mentioned. That and even when gay. I was a kid, that was common knowledge. Like that was the story. Everybody Damn. knew. <laughs> like <laughs> Bruce is a gay name. Like what? And yeah, well, so even the, as a kid, what? we were just like. What huh? about Batman? Like, huh? what? That's stupid. So yeah, Batman that's game? stupid. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but yeah. this this it's 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 really dumb. It really yes, is. It is it's, dumb. It's an wrong. interesting anecdote, stupid but it's so stupid. Yeah. It's so but stupid. But this name change was referenced in the 2003 Ang Lee Hulk movie, where the antagonist of that movie, who was Hulk's father, his name is changed to David. Yeah. 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 Although in the show, his name was David Bruce Banner. It was David Bruce. Yeah. Banner, Bruce yeah. was just a middle name. Yeah. yeah. 
All right. I want to talk <laughs> yeah, about it's true. like wait, it's less gay if it's a middle name. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, that, just keep it the way it was, right, you idiot. Yeah. It's such a stupid thing so to do. We come to anyway. 1979 and Captain America. Oh, well, it's, ah, well for oh, Hulk, there something else in there? Oh. There's the spin off movie. Gonna, well, those, those came out like much later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Those are years yeah, later. Much yeah. later. Oh, I didn't, they I brought didn't, it back. I didn't know that. Let's talk about Honestly, if you look at Ferrigno in those movies and then in the old show, he is noticeably larger. Like he had been. Well, he has been eating more. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I mean, he was. He bulked up even more by so that point. So he ate yeah. a child or. <laughs> <laughs> a couple children. A couple of them. <laughs> Real good. He put him in a French roll. So then That's we great. get to, I believe, 1979 Ow. with Captain America. Oh, God. Uh, 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 Reb uh, Brown. Beef uh, McLarge Hughes. Yeah, Beef McLarge Hughes. Oh if God. you're a MST 3000 fan, you'll know him from Space Mutiny. Yeah, yes, yeah, Space uh, Mutiny. Um, where he had a bevy of nicknames. Reb Brown. Given to him by the Yeah, bots. Reb Brown, a trained actor who is also like a big athletic guy. He's huge, uh, yeah. He's a big guy. He's a big yeah. dude. Very, very fit. Um, he got the part as Captain America. It being the late seventies, he was clad all in spandex, shiny spandex, okay, like <laughs> Wilma Deering. <laughs> oh, that costume! I just um, look at it, I'm like, oh. I. Yeah. It's not great. It's yeah. a motorcycle. It, it actually, it actually looks more like Jack Kirby's Captain America redesign when he was worried about Joe Simon getting the rights or something like that. Mm. It um, comes off as like an evil Knievel Captain America right. suit. Right, and and you know that was probably intentional. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just, doubt that at all. It's because the helmet was big. Right. He's a big motorcycle helmet, yeah, and that was the like motorcycle his wings. Helmet. And the shield. What? What's with that shield? Oh, yes. His, well, his, his okay. very st- his his very strong polyurethane in the, shield. In the seventies, we couldn't. They mm. couldn't. Um, Here we go they making excuses for the seventies. No, I you they. They couldn't fabricate like they can now. Like they just didn't have the equipment. They didn't have the tools. They didn't have the technology. Basically, mm. didn't have spray paint. I mean, spray paint. He, he <laughs> they could have spray painted it like white. And... Yeah, like right. Like they couldn't spray paint it gray. Like it's made out of steel. Or they could have <laughs> just spray painted the whole thing to where it didn't. No, they, you couldn't tell that it was see through. They went with cost. They wanted it to be a high tech material. I'm, I'm. What I'm saying is, <laughs> hey, I'm not did, saying it was good. I'm saying it didn't have I to. Do look, it didn't movies, have to look uh, like plastic. I, I also, I did. also own those movies. Yeah. I, I'm saying it didn't have to look like plastic. Yeah, it did look. Uh, like It didn't have to look like. And looks like a frisbee. If they and just float like a frisbee. Because <laughs> if you look at the shield, it's just yeah. it's a it's a clear plastic disc. Yeah. It's only got the red yeah. right. and, the star, and the star, but it doesn't have any of the white. Right. So you can tell when you're looking at it that you can well, see that way through he it. Put it on his motorcycle and he could look through it while they're shooting at him. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Captain America had two movies, Captain America and Captain America Death Too Soon. Death, death. <laughs> you know what? There's a real missed opportunity not calling it Death Too <laughs> Soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Um now these movies and are And then there was a third movie which I don't think you know of in 1984 starring Arnold Schwarzenegger's Captain America except for some reason they called him John Matrix and that the name of that movie is Captain America 1984. Sometimes people call it Commando. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you You're going? Like, Wait, what? Where are you going? It's like, oh, Matrix, hold on. No, no. Um, um, I'm like, I, so I'm going to learn a really interesting <laughs> anecdote right now. Like, oh, no, you're no. messing with me. No. In um, my mind, it's Captain America 1984 because right. it's very 80s, and yeah. it, but it is more like a superhero movie than an actual. However, movie. Yeah. Um, Captain America 2, Death Too Soon, does have a more comic book accurate costume. It does. And it does. Even though the motorcycle helmet still stick, sticks out, I, I could I, I could uh, somewhat accept it because it was the time and they didn't really have the materials for like a flat out mask. I, yeah, I, I yeah, assume. Yeah. Well, and he had to yeah. ride a motorcycle around yeah. a lot. Yes. So. These these movies are interesting because they're they are very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I'll, I'll be honest. The first time I we saw we could riff one for Patreon. We could riff one oh, for we Patreon. We could do a watch along for oh, Patreon. I have Stay tuned for that. Yeah. I have the Hulk ones in DVD. Oh, nice. oh that would be cool too. We'll, the guys, we'll discuss this later at her business meeting. Okay. Um, <laughs> where we just eat McDonald's and fall asleep. All right. Um, these movies are interesting because they're very entertaining. Yeah. Because they're kind of cheesy. Yeah. I think this is the worst depiction of Steve Rogers. Really? Well, yeah, Steve He's Rogers. He's very yeah. whiny. 
Yeah. He's yeah. very whiny. Yeah. He was His characterization more, wasn't He good. was more Spider-Man. He was more Peter Parker than Steve Rogers right. when he got his powers. Yeah. yeah. Which makes sense for Peter Parker, but does not make <laughs> sense for someone who wanted to join a war right, right. to yes. fight for his country eagerly. eagerly. We're just like, I don't want powers, you guys. Like, what do you want to do? I don't know. I just kind of want to bum around. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he say something like that? Yeah. There was some line. I haven't oh. watched it in a while, but I'm. there was lines in the movie where he was just like, I don't know. I just kind of want to bum around and do nothing, basically, is what it all boiled down to. And I'm like, wow, Captain America. He was, he was 70s, Steve Rogers. Captain America, everyone. So, after, <laughs> I just want to do illicit things okay. and fall asleep. So after Motorcycle Helmet, Captain America came. We got, well, we got we to gotta pause there for a while. There wasn't a lot coming out. I don't, ah. I don't, I can't think of anything in there. I know. I, I can't I, think of anything in the 80s but animated stuff. I don't believe there was There was there were a lot of cartoons that yes. came right. out. Uh, Spider-Man and Amazing Friends. I love that show. Fantastic that Four, which got rid of the Human Torch and brought in Herbie. Yes. There was a <laughs> bunch of, uh, and I remember because of my cousins had them on video, there was a bunch of like, there was a Hulk one, there was a Thor one. Yes. There was like a, a bunch of like these, like, I had never even seen them yeah. before. I couldn't even tell you, I couldn't even tell you any of the information about them now, except that I remember my cousins having these VHSs yeah. of these most of them Marvel cartoons. Well. I, I yeah. want to say Spider-Man and Amazing Friends is probably the most successful. Um, By the way, CBS yeah. had a lot of these. Yeah. Oh they yeah. Had, they were like the super. They had like the Shazam show. They had yeah. ISIS. They had. Yeah, that was the live action yeah, stuff too. Yeah, yeah. they had a, a bunch of these. Actually, a bunch of these were on CBS. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, they were doing back the live when CBS became Saturday your grandpa's stuff. channel, yeah. where you could cheer for the police. <laughs> right. Oh god, through um, blue bloods. Now, actually, a few years later, we got you were getting to it. Your favorite Hulk movies. Yes, the Hulk movies, which were basically thinly veiled, uh, uh, thinly veiled uh, pilots for other characters that never got their own show. That never got their own show. Um, Should have. The Daredevil the one Thor. looked cool. Thor looked weird. Thor, <laughs> Thor looked strange. Thor was like a big. He was basically ogre from Revenge of the Nerds, but yes. a good guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Was, yeah. Right. He was a he was a mega jock in that movie. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that guy was big too. Yes. Yeah. And no, he his suit was all furry. It was fur. Yeah. It was, and yeah, hammer, it was furs and leathers and, and stuff. Like yeah. I don't remember what that one was called. Uh, uh, it's not revenge. Challenge of the Prob- Incredible yeah. Hulk, something like yeah, that. Yeah, And then there's the tr- trial. Trial is Daredevil. Is Daredevil. And mm-hmm. the Death but of the Incredible Hulk is. Wasn't there a third one? Uh, oh, yeah. Death of the Incredible Hulk. I have that movie in TV. Or is that, or is that Thor? No. Uh, Death of the last one, I believe. Or is it just Hulk for that one? No, the last one's called Death of the Incredible No, I know, but who was the. Was that just Hulk alone? Yeah, Hulk was by himself oh, in that movie. Okay. If you watch the fight between Thor and Hulk in that movie. You can compare it shot for shot. It's basically the one from 2012 uh, no. in the first Avengers. But, oh, That's it's not? Not true. Are you sure? That is, yes. I'm You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no the knows. ones in the Hulk movie were better than the ones in the... No, I'm just kidding. Well, uh, no, comparable. They're comparable, yeah, though. Can we agree they're comparable? Daredevil, yeah, the Daredevil one wasn't bad. Oh, I, mean, I like they, the They went one. with the all-black suit. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I yeah. thought he looked cool. Straight off of his own show that it didn't take off, which was Street Hawk. However, <laughs> it was the same actor, yeah, same actor. However, um, he's like it, a reverse it, it, ninja. Like instead of covering, Street Hawk was basically motorcycle Knight Rider. And instead of covering <laughs> his face and yeah. like having his eyes, he yeah. covered his eyes and he was at his mouth. Yeah. He's yeah. a reverse ninja. Like a reverse ninja. At the same time, like it's weird how in Trial of the Incredible Hulk, Bruce Banner has a beard. Bruce ba- Bill Bixby has Bruce Banner. He has a yeah. beard, and when he transforms into Hulk, beard's gone. I'm like. And then the beard's back. Yeah. The beard goes back. Superheroes. Then again, that stuff happens with the comic. And then, of course, at around the same time the last movie came out. Death of the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, I think Captain America was made by Albert Pion, which is a... Oh, that one I had not It's actually not a bad movie, especially when you realize how low budget it was. Mm -hmm. All right. Like, it it was, I guess, it was low budget to begin with, and then they slashed his budget right after he started filming. Damn. And then they suddenly told him, like, you're not getting any of this stuff (laughs) that you already... We're talking about the rubber ears, Captain America, Yeah, the rubber ears, Captain America. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's just not... Captain Actual America had to suffer budget cuts. Wait, um, to go back to Death and Incredible Hulk real quick. Can we talk about the way Hulk dies in this movie? I don't remember, to be honest. Okay, so the bad guys are a bunch of terrorists. Hulk is like, oh, I must, I must like go after those guys in the, uh, one of those little plane things with, uh, I forgot, well, I forgot what kind of plane it's called. It's okay. It's it's not a commercial. Describe it to like me. Like a Cessna. It's like a biplane. Like uh, <laughs> a prop. <laughs> not an a prop. aeroplane. <laughs> no, it's basically it's a small plane. It's a small plane. Okay, okay. terrorists are in it. 
Hulk's like, I have to get him. Bruce Banner's like, I have to get him. He just takes off slowly and starts running as Hulk. And then the plane starts going upwards, right? Hulk's in it. And then uh, at some point, the ter- one of the terrorists ends up shooting the engine at the plane or, like, shoots the floor, which blows up. Hulk falls to his death in that movie. Well, the, in that Hulk, <sighs> that Hulk, that's believable because he wasn't <laughs> – I mean, he barely pushed a. Uh, I remember my uh, jaw dropping when I first a, uh, saw that. I'm like, no. He barely pushed no. the bulldozer in one episode. So yeah, it's not like break it off. He, he, broke he struggled like with the scoop. Yeah. This is how Hulk dies. Oh my god! <laughs> Which guy is still he pretty saved strong? People. But it's he still, saved he, people. Yeah. Yeah. You jerk. Yeah. I mean, that's how Nick Cage thought he was going to kill the Hulk. That was a dumb idea. <laughs> that was the whole point in the 2012 Avengers movie, right? Yeah. So, um, see, so see Nick Cage. So yeah, yeah that's uh, yeah, because uh, or Nick Cage, Fury. Nick Fury. <laughs> Nick, yeah, I'm like <laughs> Nick Cage. Yeah, I knew that didn't sound when right. When did Nick Cage team up with the Hulk in a movie? <laughs> you want to see it, don't you? I do. Nick Fury, Nick Fury. Not the gamma rays. Not the gamma rays. <laughs> so Captain America with rubber ears. Uh, yeah. He has to fake car sickness in order yeah. to GTA and then, cars. And then Red Skull's Italian, which was a little weird. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, he was. He was a and he has a nose. <laughs> and he has a nose. Oh, yeah. ew. Well, it was a little budget. <laughs> um, you should just cut off. Listen, if that Italian act, if that actor yeah. was a was a student, a, nay, a master of his craft, yeah. he would have cut that nose right off. <laughs> Method. Wow. Well, there's actually a person. Method. There's actually Albert a Kierman. real I Red mean, Skull Albert. fanboy out there. I don't know if he's associated with any political group, but he actually oh, no. did some surgical stuff to his face to look more like Red Skull. Oh. Yikes. Oof. All well, right. He's insane, so, regardless. So of, not till regardless long, of his personal beliefs, this not, person's insane. <laughs> not too long after that, a movie went into production from Roger Corman. <gasps> the bu- Roger bu- bu- Corman. Bu- 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 the Roger Corman. Carter Roger Corman. The Roger Fanta- the Roger the, the Fantastic Four. Bu- 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 I love Roger that. the B Corman. I love that movie. It's still to this date the best Fantastic Four movie yes. that's ever been made. However, it's well, never I mean, been ca- officially released. Con- considering the other Fantastic Four movies, I would be yeah. inclined to agree with. It you. has it. It has elements from like the old, very mm-hmm. old Kirby issues of Fantastic Four. It has Batman sixty six elements. Mm. Yep, it's very cheesy. The effects aren't even yeah. done. Um, yeah, it's pretty cheesy. It's a shame. What a shame. It is. Yeah. Yeah. That this movie and I love and honestly, I love that Doctor Doom. Not only did he physically, the actor physically looked kind of like Victor Von Doom mm. out of the suit, he but he was just him. great because he would do. Because Kirby used to do a lot of things in panels where Doctor mm. Doom was always like. So he's he's like a close up, and he's like, and, he's like yeah. Yeah. and he would do that. He'd yeah. be like, "You, ah, nah. I'm like, that's yeah. great. That's like, really yeah. great." Yeah. Victor, yeah, Victor is dead. I am Doom. Doctor Doom. Yeah, Doctor Doom. Doom. Yeah, very Kirby, <laughs> Doctor Doom. Yeah, and like some of my favorite scenes in that movie are are about Doom. Like, okay, so he breaks into the other bad guys' um, base, and then he's just like. He's just posing while they're trying to shoot yeah. him. <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah. Uh, JoJo before there was JoJo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, what's the, what's the names of uh, what's her name? Thing's girlfriend, uh, uh, Alicia. Alicia, the the di- one of the diamond thieves is like right. like don't come closer, I'll shoot her. And Doom is just looking at her. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and then of then course, yeah. Probably, probably, yeah. And then probably to wrap this up, unless we missed something because we are starting to run kind of long. There was you know what? I'm late... a little I'm a little ashamed that we didn't get into uh, Linda Carter. One I know we're talking about Marvel, but Ooh, like, yeah, there's yeah. always Linda Carter. We can always woman. talk about DC because that, that's some fertile ground too. Yes. Oh um, uh, yeah. Everything before anything on the CW is not garbage, and yes. everything on the CW that's, is, that's garbage. is also garbage. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Which if you anyway, love that stuff, the, I'm sorry. Please. In the late feel free 90s, I believe, old David Hasselhoff himself donned the eye patch. Yes. Oh, the for, Hoff for a very, very Kirby-esque, or um, the other guy that sort of put Nick, Nick Fury, Fury on, on the map. map. Ah, shoot, he, yeah, I know he David talking. Hasselhoff played Nick Fury in a Sci-Fi Channel movie, and it's the <laughs> best did. Nick Fury ever. <laughs> it's the best. It was a great Nick Fury. It's, it's classic. Nick, Nick Fury. It's classic Nick Fury. Yeah. I would love a Sam Jackson solo Nick Fury movie, but I, I know that that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, he's, he's, Jack- up, yeah, he's, he's up there. there. That's, that's going to be the Secret Wars one because Samuel Jackson's like the main star of that Secret Wars show that's coming out. Oh, really? Yeah. Listen, if uh, <laughs> if David Hasselhoff isn't in Multiverse of Madness, I'm going to lose it. That, that would be cool. That theater would be cool. We did skip one movie. Multiverse names. of Madness should have, yeah, Nick or uh, David Hasselhoff as Nick Fury. It should have Nicholas Hammond Spider Man. Oh, it should have, it should have uh, Toei Spider Man. Picture this, yeah. if you will. Dolph Lundgren. Picture this, if you Dolph will. Dolph Lundgren, yeah. Right? Punisher. <laughs> Punisher, yeah. Hell David, yeah. David Hasselhoff, right? Yeah. 
No, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I, I got it out confused. All right, never mind. Here, here's what we're going to do. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm basically pasting two scenes together. Here's what it is, right? Doctor Strange is looking in on different universes, mm. and he finds a universe where the whole scene plays out. It's David Hasselhoff as Nicholas J. Fury, right? And he goes and he talks to a man. I think that's right too. And he's at- Nicholas Joseph. Y- yeah. 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 I know my sh- I know my stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, I know well. I know things. I could do things. <laughs> I could do things. I could do things. I'm um, smart. Okay. Now ima- imagine he's a- he's walking up to a man. We don't see who it is, and he says to the man, "I want you talk to you about the Avengers Initiative." And the man turns around. And it's a CGI Bill Bixby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Hire me Disney now. Yes. Right, right. There was Old something recently Avengers. where they were talking about it. It has to be BS because it was like all these characters are going to be in the Universal Madness. And nah. it was like a bunch. Of, and, but it got too ridiculous. It's like, okay, that nah. can't be true. It but, was like um, Tom Cruise's Iron Man or his no. Tony Stark. It was, yeah, it was like. No. Yeah. All the people they were thinking about casting right. in these movies beforehand. Right. Yeah. But we did skip one. I'll, I'll go over briefly. Dolph Lundgren is Punisher. Yeah, uh, we, did, Punisher we did Punisher, forget yeah. that Punisher. I also yeah, like because he was fighting the <laughs> guys. No, I, I, we I also like we skipped another though. one too. But we'll talk about that his, in a second. His origin story sucks because it's like the Tom's Jane one. He's yeah. a cop who loses his family. Right. Not he doesn't really have any military experience. But it, it felt I, like I come in peace was kind of the 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 prequel to that Punisher version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, I I like his character design. Like sure, okay, even though he doesn't have the Punisher symbol in it, he has like a yeah. biker jacket and he has like. Skull symbols in his weapons. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And <laughs> a very comic booky. And even even when he's interrogated, he's like, Frank is dead. There's no point in trying to talk me out of this. <laughs> yeah. So what uh what else did we miss? Uh, we missed. Uh, <laughs> we. <laughs> Jesus I, I, I l- listen. I'm the only person who really remembers this, and I find it really odd because I saw it when it was straight up on TV, and that is the Fox movie Generation X, which oh, was yeah. based on the comic book Generation X. Yeah, there was X. actually a series, too, at some point, too. What the hell is that? I did not know it was a series. I only saw the made-for-TV movie, which it was is some kind of, it was back some in 96. It was some kind of oddball X-Men spinoff. That, yeah, so it's basically like yeah, it's basically just about the that. new X Generation X, like yeah. new, young, hip X-Men. Yeah, right. Um, it, it was uh, not the best movie, what but the, I remember enjoying I'm it as a kid at. because there was nothing yeah. like that yeah, on yeah, TV yeah, yeah. at, at the time. And I, I was like 12, I believe, yeah. 94, 96. I was 12 yeah. when that movie came out. So yeah. it was amazing. But then I remember, I like, I watched clips of it. I'm like, ooh, this is bad. <laughs> um, it's not a great movie, but it's definitely, it's definitely like one of those things you watch I with mean, friends. The and costume like looks better than have some the, drinks and stuff yeah, and just riff that, the hell yeah. out of that movie. But yeah, that movie did exist in 1996, yeah. which is what we're wow. talking about, right? 90s, yeah. 70s, yeah. 80s, 90s. These costumes look better than the Brian Singer costumes. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it that. Oh, I mean, you can give it some credit for things for sure, but. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not a good movie. Right. I think that's um, it. Yeah, that's, it's the that's most really '90s we should, thing. We it's the most wrap '90s it up. We're like I've super seen. long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, I just, I just want a special honorable mention shout out to Punisher Warzone after yeah. the Thomas Jane ones. Hell yeah! Because that movie actually feels like the Punisher and Ray Stevenson, who went on to play um, Volstag, Volstag, and Thor. Yeah, he. Physically looks like the Punisher. And yes, he that movie. That movie just feels like the Punisher. He looks like the Punisher yeah. from Punisher Warzone, yeah. which yeah. is yes. great. And yeah. then uh, Lexi, what was her name? Lexi, ah, shoot. Uh, the the director. She was. Oh, yeah, she, oh yeah. man, she she knocked it out. It yes, so and, I, and I love that micro. Micro was great, which was Wayne Knight from uh, yeah. Seinfeld. From Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he played Newman. Newman. Yeah. Yeah. Newman. Yeah. 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 Um, nobody yeah. cares. Nobody cares. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. Yep. The nobody cares guy, De- <laughs> Dennis Nedry. Yeah, De- uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis Nedry. Nedry. Yeah. yeah, I love that movie. All right, guys. Uh, did we miss anything? Did we talk about your favorites, or right. maybe yeah, we missed something? Yeah. Maybe Let us. Ne- maybe yeah. next time we'll do DC. Yeah, that's that's fertile ground as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, yeah. Let us know in the comments below uh, if there's anything that we missed or if there's something you wanted us to talk right. about more. Yeah, uh, give us a like or a dislike. Sub. I don't really mind either or. Yeah, uh, so if you want to see more good stuff. Yeah, yeah right. and uh, subscribe so that when we put out new videos, you guys can get them. Oh yeah, yes. we also have a Patreon. We, we do, and Patreon. we're gonna try to get some. Uh, 
uh, content on there real soon. So hopefully yeah, we got some so, fun stuff. Because yeah, right now, yeah, we're for putting on the Patreon. <laughs> we all work for a living. I mean, yeah, yeah. some of Tony us. Tony goes work- to school and works. <laughs> yeah, some of us are working stiffs. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, but uh, we're gonna have some cool stuff on there hopefully. Yeah. Um, pretty soon. So hopefully you yeah. guys will enjoy some yeah, of yeah. that. Uh, like I said, yeah, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Good night. Good night.